Well, we're joined now to talk about uh, Saktu buying a clothing unit of Serdal by Herman Pillay, who's uh, CEO of Trade Call Investments. Good morning to you, Herman. Some time ago it was announced that instead of closing a factory, Serdal was going to sell it to trade unions. Uh, now, there's a company that I've just mentioned, which is obviously in charge of that. You're the CEO. So what's happened in the meantime, and what have you done that Serdal couldn't do? Huh. We're still in the process of trying to do what Serdal could not do. But I think the first thing that we had to do, firstly, was to reassure customer confidence. So when we were approached in June of last year with the announcements of the closure of Sedal Apparel, uh, the first plan of action was to approach the retailers to see if we had the uh, support from them. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that the support from the retailers has, has been unanimous. Uh, uh, they've come through very positively for us uh, in support of this new venture. Well, Herman, I mean, Saktau has uh, been accused uh, in, the, in the main for protecting their workers to the extent of seeing a lot of job losses in the industry. Surely this is something that you're going to have to take on as well. How are you going to keep alive a, a company that is set to, that has to actually downsize and restructure if it's going to gain any operational efficiency without actually laying off workers? Just to uh, correct you on that point, uh, Sedal Apparel pre-takeover sat with 2,453 employees. When set to interview, uh, intervene with uh, buying out Sedal Apparel, uh, we managed to save 2,260 jobs. The casualty was 193 jobs, which uh, contributed to poor health and to those that reached the age of retirement. Herman, just looking at uh, what you've done actually, having taken over the company, I mean, do you, do you negotiate now with yourself when it comes to trade union negotiations? Uh, how does that work? Has, has it been easier to talk to yourself, as it were, when it comes to uh, labour relations and, most of all, wages? Uh, I think uh, the separation between the two is very distinct. Uh, set to Sector has the right to uh, industrial relations, which it will hold. Uh, what it did do was improve labor relations. Um, Sector has done a big thing here. I mean, they stepped in during the uh, a time of crisis. And what they've actually done was uh, they intervened when a factory was facing closure. Uh, that huge step that they've taken uh, uh, should be rewarded with improved labor relations. But in no way will set to uh, uh, be uh, prejudiced in any way to, to give any royalties to trade call investments apparel. They have the right to stand the industrial relationship ground. Herman, I, w I want to go back to the, the labor issue. Uh, the, you know, Saktu has been quoted as saying that the incentive uh, of, of buying Citadel is not profit and that in the incentive was in fact to save jobs. Again, in a purely capitalist conversation and context, how does saving jobs become more important than making profit? How are you going to be striking that balance? Well, I listened to uh, a conversation or the interview that you guys had prior to my interview, uh, where you spoke about CEOs taking a pay cut. Just to let you know, uh, uh, I'm the new CEO of Trade Call Investments Apparel, and I pledge for uh, taking no salary for one year to show my commitment to this company, uh, because I believe so much in the potential that exists in the business. But in saying that, uh, a sector's intervention as well has created a huge uh, 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 paradigm shift in the way we view the industry going forward. Uh, Herman, how long have you given yourself to make this a success? I mean, you might not want to make a profit particularly, but you certainly have to break even at least, and whatever surplus there is, perhaps you put back in the business rather than give it to shareholders. Uh, so how long are you going to give yourself before you can say, you know, we've made it, we've, we're successful, or we're not going to make a go of it? What's your time span? Just to give you our, our future plan, we are projecting a, an employment growth of 20% in the next six months, which looks uh, uh, very achievable. Uh, in December, after we intervened from September, in December of 2013, if there were no retrenchment costs that had to be paid out, we would have broke even for the first time. So that's positive already. Uh, the uh, 
The area that we work in, uh, uh, the, the motivation is there, our staff is very driven. Uh, I've surrounded myself with a very strong team, a very capable team. And going back to what Craig Martin said, uh, the strategy is quite clear. For us to see any profit, we've got to incentivize our employees. Herman, last question for you. Uh, you said the retailers have been very sympathetic, you've approached them and so on. What are they doing for you that they didn't do for Serdal? Uh, there's nothing uh, really that, they have n that, that they're doing different to what they've done to Sedell. My approach to the retailers is different to the approach of Sedell Apparel in the past. I've approached them uh, with, with the process of being versatile in products that Sedell Apparel did not do in the past. Uh, this gives us a, 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 a good market share, but at the same time what it also enables us is to be versatile in the industry and uh, take on products that was not manufactured at Sedell Apparel before.